imagine your ideal research center. Does it mean that uh, we work in an environment where everybody feels invited to join research discussions? Where we all recognize our, the contributions of our teammates, regardless who they are? We all value skills that are different from our own? And that diversity is a priority. Everybody is represented, and equality plans are key in all research projects. Our goal is to make this vision a reality. Now, keep that picture uh, in your mind as we shift our focus to where we are now. Here are some of the thoughts that come to the minds of uh, scientists in their day-to-day -day work. So I'm the only woman speaker again. Oh, if I make a mistake, I'm representing all women here. But if everybody was represented proportionally, this should not be happening. Why do they tend to second guess everything I say? This doesn't happen when we value different skills. Where are my role models? If diversity was a priority, they would be here. So let's see what the numbers say. Laura, how are we doing in, in Spain? In Spain, 40% of the scientific community are women. And how about BSc? In the BSc, women are underrepresented in all research departments. The highest representation of women that we have in any career stage is only 25%. Also, it seems that the concept of leaky pipeline at BSc is real. The higher the position, the less women we have represented, so that we don't have many women in decision-making positions. In particular, as you can see here, in the life science department, 40% of the group leaders are women. In the case of earth sciences and computer sciences, this number go down, goes down to 17%. And for case, it's only 11%. And among department directors, there's zero women. And the numbers speak for the lim limited data that we have available. The categories exclude uh, gender non-binary people, as well as um, classifications based on sexuality, ethnicity, race, and disabilities. So how does this affect to our role models? Women scientists have a lot of pressure when they have to mentor others. If representation was more balanced, then they could share responsibilities. To make the changes we need, everybody's involvement is important. Now, we started organizing this initiative already, but it's still in its preliminary stages. The numbers that we see here represent people who already have connected with each other by joining the department mailing list or participating in a committee. We have representation in every research department, and we hope to coordinate our efforts across the entire center, which is why we have established BSc for Equality. And so far, even though we have just started, there's 95 people participating. So you've seen the differences between where we want to be and where we are today. And there's still a lot of work to do to bring the two together. Luckily, we already started uh, this work. We connected volunteers from the different departments, as Julia just showed you, uh, into a new common initiative that already has its first result, this presentation. And in our respective groups, we already took several actions. For example, we collected data about the participation of women at BSc, and we got the collaboration from human resources, but uh, we have to say that there is still missing data and it is limited, uh, its availability is limited. Uh, we also uh, promoted meetings with women leaders to inspire our uh, staff. And for example, uh, we created guidelines and tools to improve the, the equity in the center. But uh, this is just the beginning. There's a long road ahead full of exciting ideas, and we've already identified several actions that we can develop further. We want to provide support to women at all career stages so that we can overcome the leaky pipeline. We also want to participate in the mentoring program for a BSc scientist, as well as to intro help introducing a gender dimension in, into the BSc training plan. We also want to attract, ta attract talented candidates by 
um, advertising our activities in scientific events and help establishing a diverse network. So if you like these ideas, become a part of the movement. And if you don't like these ideas, even more reason to join so that you can share your own. At uh, BC Equality, we're open to everybody and we're always looking for new members. So what can you do? As an individual, you have the power to choose where you want to present your research and who you want to collaborate with. Also, you can also refuse to participate in panels when only men are represented. And yes, we also need financial support. And we can think of some people within the audience that can decide where money goes. So make this your thing. Integrate equity goals in your project proposals because soon you'll need to do it anyways if you want to get funding from the European Union. You can also learn about gender biases and how to eliminate them. You can find a gender bias test and join our mailing list at this QR code on the slide. So take out your phone and scan it. Thank you.